Welcome back to the show. We all have an inherent fear of the Canada Revenue Agency, but there are tax credits that the agency does give us, and it, which is basically like free money from the government, but we all forget to claim them. So what are those tax benefits, and how do we get ahead with those tax benefits? How do we claim them? Here to speak with us further about this is Bowenjit Sohi, who is a chartered accountant and has been a chartered accountant for the past 10 years. He now runs a private firm which deals specifically with small businesses and personal taxes. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me, Junita. Appreciate you joining us, Bowenjit. So today we're talking about the Canada Revenue Agency and I'm excited that you actually used to work with them. Yes, that's true. I worked with CRA for a couple of years, but then I wanted to do my CA designation, so I went off to that venture. And started on your own. Well, this is good because now you're lending your clients, and as well as our viewers, um, you know, a little bit of advice on where we could be claiming these tax credits, but we're not. So can you tell us a little bit about those? So the most common tax credits that I see people often quite miss or forget to tell their accountant, such as me, is, you know, very common stuff that's been introduced in the recent few years. Mm -hmm. So for example, we'll start off with uh, fitness tax credit. This is a new tax credit that's been introduced recently and basically allows any parents who are taking their kids to swimming mm -hmm. classes or you know playing in any extracurricular activities to claim those as a write-off in their tax return. In any extracurricular activities? Well, there's a certain limit. It has to be eight weeks in length, mm -hmm. or it has to be a five-day camp. Mm -hmm. um, it has to have a certain limit of extra, you know, uh, endurance type of activity. Uh, so generally, those include swimming, playing basketball, playing soccer uh, in the summer. Mm -hmm. uh, so those kind of activities all qualify. Well, what about um, things like Bhangra? That's a very good question. There's also a, a tax credit which is called the arts amount. So that's for uh, people who are involved in artistic or cultural activities. So Pangra falls into that category. Really? Um, if you're t taking your kids for piano lessons, mm -hmm. those qualify for arts amount. Um, the limit for both of these credits is uh, for the fitness, you can write off up to about $1,000 per child. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, lots of people will go to a recreational center, for example, YMCA. Mm -hmm. uh, YMCA has a lot of programs that qualify for both. Um, when you go into a YMCA, you can inquire with them and find out. If a parent is uh, kind of questionable on whether an activity qualifies or not, they can always look it up mm -hmm. on the CRA website. They've got plenty of information on their website. Wow. Okay, so that's the, the, the kids and the youth programs. Mm -hmm. What about seniors? Is there something that we can do about seniors? Uh, good question. Um, uh, lots of people have senior parents uh, that are residing with them. Mm -hmm. Like extended families. Exactly. Uh, but they forget to claim that you actually can't claim credits for your parents living with you. So I'll give you an example. For example, let's say you're, you've got parents, each parent making less than $22,000 in income. Mm -hmm. um, because you're supporting your parents, the government says, the people that are working, we want to alleviate some tax, uh, mm -hmm. you know, give them the tax benefit. So if you've got parents uh, living with you and they're making uh, less than $22,000 per parent, you can claim up to $4,500 in tax credit on your personal tax return. So let me understand this right. So there's a senior living at home, usually it's, it's one or two parents. Mm -hmm. I can claim as a caregiver, for both of my parents, each, each, as long as they have an income, each, each. less than 22000 That's correct. So a wow. potentially $9,000 credit that you can claim on your tax return, which will result in savings of $1,800 a year, which is quite significant. Wow. Okay. So we've talked about kids. We've talked about seniors. Um, Let's one additional thing I like to add here is uh, one common thing I've seen in practice mm -hmm. is the population is getting um, uh, a significant population is getting quite elderly these days. Yes. Um, for the people that are quite elderly and are disabled, whether mm -hmm. it's speaking or carrying mental functions mm -hmm. or any you know basic necessity of daily life, mm -hmm. they can qualify for what's called a disability tax credit. So lots of people don't know about that. 
and the disability tax credit allows a person to claim $7,700 in tax credits. Up to uh, $7,700 per, uh, per disabled person. parent. That's right. And if that parent doesn't use it because they don't have sufficient income, then the person supporting them, their Which son the care to, or right? their daughter-in-law or whatever mm -hmm. the situation is, they can claim it on their tax return. So that's an additional benefit that they qualify for as well. Wow. And so how do they, um, I guess, how are they classified as being disabled? Is that There must be some rules around that as well. Yes. You have to go to your medical practitioner and they have to sign in a signed form and you mm. have to submit it to CRA, which reviews it and then approves you for it. Wow, okay, we've only talked to just a couple of different tax credits here, but I mean, there's lots of others, I'm sure. I, I, earlier, we were discussing about donations, and you know, now we've got a federal election coming up, and you can mm -hmm. save on that. Um, there's you know, all sorts of other sorts of uh, donation receipts that you can, I guess, tax credits that you can get that people really don't know about. True. So in order to find out more information about all the different types of tax credits that are out there, where can they go? Where's the best resource for them? The best resource is, I think, the Canada Revenue Agency website. Mm -hmm. uh, it uh, basically provides all the detail outlines of what credits are available mm -hmm. or what an individual can claim. But I think the number one source is you speak to your accountant. The accountant. Uh, they have the most knowledge. Uh, they know exactly what applies to your specific situation. Mm -hmm. um, he's the best professional, he or she is the best professional advisor to speak to. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for sharing all this amazing insight with us.